I'm gonna open up the Procreate app. I'm gonna click a little plus sign. Screen size. Once you open up a new canvas, you're gonna see your little menus up here. Right here is your color bucket. You know, you can slide through different colors or whatever. You could use different layouts, but they all basically do the same thing. I like to use square. This is the easiest for me. <clears throat> so right now I'm in red. I'm gonna open up a limb brush. And then again, all these brushes, if you have the Procreate app for iPad, you click the link in my bio and download my custom brushes. So I'm open up the limbs. My favorite is doing forearms. Tap in the forearm. This arrow up here, you're gonna tap it. And that allows you to resize whatever image that you have on this layer. And I'm gonna explain layers in a minute. So I'm gonna oversize it a little bit. Once I have it where I want it, this little magic wand tool over here, I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna press opacity. Once you click opacity, you can slide your finger or the pencil across the screen and it'll change how uh, transparent the image is. Y'all see that? So I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit because I don't want it to stand out too much. So once I do that, I'm gonna go back to my color bucket. I'm gonna go from red to black. Now my paint is black. And I'm gonna open up another layer. See this little double window here? I'm gonna click it and then click the plus sign. You see, my arm is on this first layer. Now I have a layer on top, like a transparent layer almost. I'm gonna go back to my brushes. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Let's just do 90s, baby. I like all that. Gonna tap the screen. There goes your image. Once again, click the arrow and you can change the size of it. Maybe paste that here. You're gonna leave that there for now. We're gonna open up a third layer. Go back to my brushes. Let's pick something else. Hang on, it was cool. You're gonna tap, click the arrow again. You can resize. Now this is gonna be important. You see, I feel like this is kinda, how can I say, uh, I don't like the weight of it. So I'm gonna flip Arnold around. Check me out down at the bottom. Can y'all see that? You have a different, different options down here once you have the image highlighted. So remember, you got to click this arrow up top. Make sure that you got your box around it and this menu should pop up and I'm going to flip him around. See how he flip? Check me out again. I think I'm going to flip him right there. He might have been there that way the first time. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Now look, he's overlapping to all that. Now, so the purpose of layers is now I can go back to this all that layer, tap it, make sure I'm on it, hit my eraser. You have this little bar here. This changes how big your pencil is that you're using. You see that? So I'm gonna use my eraser and I'm gonna erase what's up underneath him. So it makes sense when you're looking at it. See how I did that? Make a lot more sense that way, right? Okay. So I'm gonna go back here, open up another layer add another element maybe um i don't know 90s baby right make it complete tap the screen hit your arrow you can resize it i think i'm gonna do that maybe like right around here now that I, that I have these two overlapping what do you feel like i should erase maybe should i put his foot behind the uh the nine or should I put the nine behind the shoe? You get what I'm saying? If not, I'm gonna show you. So, um, okay, let's erase the foot. See how that looks. I click on the Arnold. I'm gonna layer with Arnold on it and I erase his foot. Know what I'm saying we could either do that. I look all right. Or we could have his foot on top of the nine. Now I'm gonna use two fingers to undo what I just did. You see that? His foot is right back. So I'm going to go to the nine on the 90s, baby. And I'm going to erase the lines behind his foot. You get what I'm saying? Or we could do it like that. 
Which one y'all think look better? Nine in front of the foot? Nine in front of the foot or behind the foot? Let me know. All right, y'all take it too long. I like it like this. I'm going to leave it like that. Like this? All right. And then with this, you know what I'm saying? You could also mix and match different uh, breast sets that I have in my bio. So right now we're on 90s, baby. Let's fill up the background with something dope. I don't know. Let me go to... Uh, I'm going to ask a lot of them. I'll be getting kind of lost. Okay, let's go to Money, Power, Respect. Do something a little different. Maybe add a money sign back there or something like that. I don't know. Now, look, I just made a mistake. I laid this money sign down without opening up another layer. So now, look, when I go to resize it, it's going to grab everything. I don't want that. So I'm going to use these two fingers. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up again. I'm going to back up again. I'm going to keep backing up till there we go. It got erased. Now I'm going to open up another layer and then lay that money sign down. And now I can move it freely. So you probably put this back here. Matter of fact, do something dope. Put this money sign for the 90s, baby, instead of the S that's on there. See what I'm saying? You can get creative if you want. Maybe add like a Rolex crown there or something like that. And that backdrop. Make sure I got another layer. I do. Oh, yeah, that's hard. So that's just to give you all a quick example of how to basically, you know, get into procreate and maneuver if you're new to it or you don't know what you got going on at all. So once again, if you got an iPad, you can go ahead, click the link in my bio, download the Procreate app. And then you can also go to my website and you can go ahead and, you know, purchase a custom brush set. You get as many as you want, mix and match them. You know what I'm saying? Simple.